MTC. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 01. If simple observation were the only factor in determining our knowledge of reality, then nothing at all can be more certain than the fact that the Earth is stationary. For thousands of years humankind has observed the turning of the stars and, apart from the odd earthquake, has experienced the ground beneath its feet as a fixed point from which to observe all other movement. To accept that the Earth moves around the Sun and turns on its axis on a daily basis is to move away from simple experience, to start to interpret what is seen in the light of a theory. Against all the evidence of our senses, we know that we are hurtling through space. Uninterpreted evidence is therefore an inadequate basis for any scientific theory. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 02 In his 1967 book, Cooper Smith first noticed a positive relationship between self-esteem levels in mothers and their children. Cooper Smith 1967 But Bedner, Wells and Peterson made considerable use of this factor by pointing out that parents actually show their children the route to self-esteem by how they handle their own challenges, conflicts, and issues. Bedner, Wells Peterson The impact of parents' behavior upon the child's self-esteem is undeniable. Given the immaturity of children, however, parents' expression of their own resolution of the self-esteem question is far more influential than what they teach verbally. Parents who face life's challenges honestly and openly and who attempt to cope with difficulties instead of avoiding them thereby expose their children early to a pro-self-esteem problem-solving strategy. Those who avoid dealing with difficulties reveal a negative route for handling the challenges and problems of life. Either way, it is important to remember that modeling helps set the stage for healthy self-esteem or problems with it. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 03 One way that a writer can create engaging and entertaining articles is by learning to identify, write, and place anecdotes. These tightly written mini-stories are delicious little bites that one editor describes as the chocolate chips of articles. They are as much at home in speeches, sermons, comedy monologues, and books as they are in feature stories. They work well as leads, endings, or illustrations scattered throughout a manuscript. They humanize dry data. Example, an article about a major medical breakthrough may contain all sorts of important information, but the article becomes memorable when the author inserts an anecdote about a patient whose life is saved because of the medical breakthrough. People want to read about other people. Long after readers forget the surprising statistics, compelling details, or key points of a story, they remember the colorful anecdotes that showed rather than told the significance of the key points. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 04 Given the perceived shift in recent decades, in the Western world, at least, from an industrial to a post-industrial society, the continued dependence of information economy firms on material infrastructure and the manipulation of physical objects is surprising, if not paradoxical. Despite repeated claims that the defining characteristic of the information society is the displacement in our economy of materials by information, as Wired magazine editor Kevin Kelly has described it or, in the even more concise and memorable words of MIT professor Nicholas Negroponte, the inevitable shift from atoms to bits what has in fact occurred is a massive increase in our interaction with our physical environment. Wired Kevin Kelly, MIT Nicholas Negropont Information technologies allow humans to visualize, explore, and exploit our environment more efficiently. We travel more, and more broadly, consume more, and more globally, pollute more, and more extensively. The amount of material moving around the planet has increased dramatically in recent years, arguably as a direct consequence of the digital revolution. In fact, this increase is not only enabled by information technology but required by it. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 05 Hormones can act close to where they are made or a long way away. Distance is not a problem, there just needs to be a fluid such as blood, connecting the site of secretion with the site of action. When they enter the blood, they are swept off to all parts of the body, reaching everywhere the blood goes. But they may also act locally, 
within the vicinity of the extracellular fluid. For example, insulin is secreted into the blood by cells in the pancreas when blood sugar levels rise. It reaches the liver and muscles and makes them take up some sugar for storage or energy provision. At the same time, insulin affects cells in the pancreas right next to the ones that secreted it, stimulating them to produce other hormones. These hormones stop blood sugar from falling too far and also inhibit further insulin secretion. As a result, the insulin response is exactly adjusted to the amount by which the sugar concentration has risen. This combination of local and distant effects is one reason why sugar levels stay remarkably constant in most people most of the time. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 06 As you go about your day, your eyes are open, and you effortlessly understand most of the information going into them. It feels like the simplest thing in the world. But, like the song MMM Bop by Hansen, the apparent simplicity is an illusion. Hansen MMM Bop The human vision system is really complex. It just doesn't feel complicated because our conscious minds are spared just about everything except the final product. It's kind of like buying a jar of peanut butter. It feels simple, but that's because you don't have to think about growing peanuts, harvesting them, shipping them to a processing plant, turning them into peanut butter, the manufacture of a plastic container, the printing of the label, and the shipping. Your interface only needs to be a store and some money. Similarly, your conscious mind enjoys a rich interpretation of what's in front of you without having to concern itself with the details of how it was generated. But there's a lot going on under the hood. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 07 Do you understand how a zipper works? How about a flush toilet? These objects seem basic enough. Knowing how they work isn't exactly rocket science. But people drastically overestimate their understanding of how these simple items function. In one study, Leon Rosenblatt and Frank Keel asked people to rate from 1 to 7 how well they understood the workings of such objects. Leon Rosenblatt Frank Kyle 1 7. They then asked participants to actually explain in detail how the objects worked. Many were simply unable to do so. And so when asked to revisit the question of how well they understood, Subjects drastically lowered their ratings. Psychologist Rebecca Lawson performed a similar experiment where students were asked to explain, by sketching out the mechanism, how a bicycle works. Rebecca Lawson The results were striking most people were unable to complete the task, even though a bicycle is such a familiar object in our daily lives. This phenomenon, of people thinking they know much more than they actually do, has come to be known as the illusion of explanatory depth. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 08 Television may be altering the brain in ways that push some children into a condition of a learning disability. Jerome L. Singer points out, the TV set, and particularly commercial television with its clever use of constantly changing short sequences, holds our attention by a constant sensory bombardment that maximizes orienting responses. Jerome L. Singer, dot. Producers of children's shows are especially fond of using perceptual tricks to get children's attention. This jerking children's attention around can lead to a shortening of children's attention spans. It is hard for people to concentrate on one thing when they are having their attention pulled away by an even more interesting or novel thing. Eventually children give in to the demanding for attention and go with the flow. They become passive, thinking that it is useless to try to analyze any one thing because another thing will come along and replace the first thing. 2023 EBS Chapter 11 Number 09 In their research, Karmaloff Smith and Inhelder showed the theory ladenness of experimentation. Karmaloff Smith and Helder they asked children to balance wooden blocks on a narrow metal rail. A number of the blocks had their weight evenly distributed so that they balanced at their geometric center. Other blocks had visible or invisible weights on one end so that they balanced far off center. The youngest children did not appear to have a theory, they simply moved the blocks around until they balanced. 
At about age six or seven most of the children appeared to have adopted a strong theory things balance in the center. 6-7 These children placed the blocks on the rail on their centers. For ordinary blocks the data came in well for this theory, however, the theory did not work for the unbalanced blocks. Most of these children held to the geometric center theory and put the unbalanced blocks aside as impossible to balance. Thus we appear to have a case where the 6- and 7-year-old children's experiments were directed by theory and when the data did not fit the theory, the children adjusted the data by not including the unbalanced blocks. 6-7 2023 EBS Chapter 1 1 Number 10 Young domestic bulls rarely grow up around older herd sires, so they have no opportunity to play fight with the older, stronger bulls or to observe the herd sires as their role models. Instead, they are grouped together in feed pens and pastures, where they can wrestle only with their playful age mates. Because they are also equally matched, they do not develop an ability to gauge each other's strength by displaying aggressive behavior alone. In fact, a good shoving match in a feed pen becomes the preferred method of settling a score just to counteract boredom. As a result, these young bulls learn that all dominance disputes are settled by physical conflict, resulting in far more serious injuries, and expensive replacement bulls, than are common in the wild. Letting our young bulls grow up on pasture among older bulls makes them better adjusted and gives them the skills necessary to resolve most dominance struggles through displays, not battles. 2023 EBS Chapter 1 1 Number 11 Meaning is based in the symbolic interpretation of another's communication. Because we cannot be inside someone else's head to understand his or her intended meaning, we depend on our own interpretations of the use of symbols such as words, gestures, and other acts that can stand for something else. When someone says, I'm hungry, we understand the meaning. Dot. Although we do not experience his or her hunger directly, we can equate the statement with our own feeling of hunger. Because our responses to others' communications are based on our own experiences, our communication difficulties are often based on different interpretations of the same symbolic words or gestures. My hunger may not be as immediate as yours. The temperature of the room may not feel as cold to me. My experiential background or slower cognitive processing may mean that it takes me longer to arrive at a similar understanding of a problem that appears obvious to you. 2023 EBS Chapter 1 1 Number 12 The force of gravity dominating our world makes us live in an anisotropic space, that is, space in which dynamics varies with direction. To rise upward means to overcome resistance it is always a victory. To descend or fall is to surrender to the pull from below, and therefore is experienced as passive compliance. It follows from this unevenness of space that different locations are dynamically unequal. Here, physics can help us, by pointing out that because moving away from the center of gravity requires work, the potential energy in a mass high up is greater than that in one low down. Visually an object of a certain size, shape, or color will carry more weight when placed higher up. Therefore, balance in the vertical direction cannot be obtained by placing equal objects at different heights. The higher one must be lighter. An experimental demonstration with regard to size is mentioned by Langfeld. Langfeld if one is asked to bisect a perpendicular line without measuring it, one almost invariably places the mark too high. If a line is actually bisected, it is with difficulty that one can convince oneself that the upper half is not longer than the lower half. Dot. This means that if one wants the two halves to look alike, one must make the upper half shorter. MTC Good job!